Hey guys, it's Cassie. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a seasoned subscriber. Today we are actually going to be talking about the best pieces from the Dior Men's Fall Collection. You know that we're not bothered about which section you buy it in on this channel, as long as you rock it. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Dior Men's is absolutely killing it. And these are my favorite pieces from the most recent collection that I think anyone can wear. We have bags, we have accessories, we have a sprinkling of ready to wear. The first item is the Dior Elite Shoulder Pouch. And I like the fact that they used the word elite because my gosh, that is exactly what this item is. I love it. Okay, here we go. If you like a multi-pochette vibe, right? You like the Louis Vuitton one or you like the Prada one or whatever, and maybe you want to look for something a little bit different, or maybe you love it and you want to add another one. <laughs> we love her, okay? So you have that tiny little like card holder, coin pouch section at the top, and then you've got a bigger section at the bottom. You have that kind of inspiration of the saddle in there with the flap. I think that this is so chic. We already know that the oblique print really goes with everything. Then you have the kind of black leather on there that gives it a little bit more of that quote unquote masculine vibe. Oh, it's utility. It's giving me all of the multi pochette vibe, but if you wanted something a little bit different, a little bit more unexpected, a little bit like, oh, hold on a second, haven't seen that before. This is a great one. Okay, the next one is aptly called the pouch. And this is basically almost like a phone bag slash holder, but you have a tiny sodding top handle, which you know I love and respect. You know I love a two handle situation, why? Because you can cross body and then you can top handle. You have two very different vibes happening there and I'm here for it. Now, the other thing with this is that it has those two kind of compartments. The front compartment actually has card slots in there. So everything's in there, good to go. And then in the back, you could put your phone, other accoutrement and things, hand sanitizer, masks, whatever. The shoulder strap is also removable. So if you just wanted to do the top handle moment, that is available to you. The next bag is another pouch, pouch with shoulder strap or whatever. The, the lack of imagination for the names is, they need to work on that. I confess, I was gonna buy this in the beige. They were doing it in a beige color. I don't think it's available anymore. And I ended up actually going for my Dior Amoa because they didn't have it in. But this is one of the most underrated unisex bags around, okay? Firstly, crossbody her. They do this in a number of colorways. They have like an all black oblique, they have the normal blue oblique, a um, couple of other colorways as well. Th I think they do just like a leather version. Now you have two zipped sections, all of which have card slots and little coin zip areas and all of that. So you don't need a wallet, you know, like it's a wallet on chain situation. I love it. The shape of it, it's very compact. It sits really nicely on the body. When I was gonna get it, I was gonna have it, you know, like just like an under the left tip moment. You know I love a hanging out under the left tip moment flex. It's small, it's compact, but it still has enough space for most of the stuff that you would need, right? You're still gonna get everything in there with no issues. This is so good. The price is really good for what it is. I feel like this is such a hidden gem that people are not looking into enough. And the more I look at it, the more I'm just like, sod it. I know that it was kind of either or this or the Romeo one and you've got the Romeo, but maybe you also need this as well. Yes, because it's really, really cute. The strap is also detachable. So if you just wanted to like pouch it, you just wanted to, you know, just, just hold it there. That's an option. Now, the next one is a saddle belt bag. Now, I wanted to mention this because there is a saddle belt bag in the women's section, but this one is far more practical, okay? Basically, it is the exact shape of a saddlebag, but it is miniaturized down and it's got a belt. Now, the men's belt is kind of like canvassy and nice and wide, and then it's got one of those little like mechanisms. I don't know. I don't know how to describe that. You know what I'm talking about. But the thing about this is it pretty much has the same functionality as your normal saddle, but it's got a nice little width there. Obviously it's a small version. It's got a nice little width that you can still get stuff in. If you look at the one in the women's section, not only is the strap like skinny and therefore maybe more feminine, I don't know. It's really thin. It's really thin. I don't know what you could like put in there, right? And look, as a purveyor of mini bags, I 
think that that is close to like what like literally aside from something very skinny like cards there's no space for anything so the men's version you have the same vibe the belt is a little bit different you kind of have these little extra hardware areas you'll see it but you still have the space to make it practical another difference that i just failed to notice is that the men's one doesn't have the d hanging hanging off off the front of this mini saddle bag belt bag situation maybe i don't know maybe it's because the wearer is is meant to have their own d because it's in the men's section did you get that did you get that joke Okay, this is really cute. This is the mini roller messenger bag. Now, they've been doing this for a while, but I believe the one with the top handle is new. I mean, it's a tiny little rolled bag with a zip across the top, looking like a tiny duffel bag with a top handle. What more could you want? It's very cute, very practical. Saw a guy out with it the other day and I was like, wow, I need to get a knee on this trade because that is like... I'm very much here for that vibe. They do this one, but without the strap in like smooth leather and all of that. So, you know, there's options. Also, the mini roller bag, as the name suggests, is the mini version of the ones that don't have this little top handle flex. Moving into ready to wear. A lot of the, I don't know, aside from like, you know I love that mesh oblique t-shirt, but I've spoken about it and that's not new collection, so I didn't want to harp on about it again. There wasn't too much, but there were a couple of pieces from their kind of like collaboration with Judy Blame. So you've got this very simple, nice, uh, it just says Dior across the back with like a safety pin in the back. Again, I think that's great. Unisex piece. Women, tuck it into your jeans, kind of like pull a little bit out of it, give a, you know, an oversized vibe, do it with your shorts, whatever, wear it over leggings. Now, they also have a sweater version of that, but I like the sweater a lot more because it's kind of like a woolen knitted version, so you get that cosy vibe. It's still very classic. It's something that you could wear now, wear in five years time, whatever. It's so inoffensive and like so, such a staple, but still a little bit interesting. I love the coziness of the wool. The gray version is my favorite. I think they also do do it in like a black, but I think the gray gives it that, you know, like fall winter vibe. Now, the other item that is in the men's section is this pearl oblique brooch, right? Now, aside from it just being a brooch, it's cute. If you like brooches, have a look at this one. But I saw it styled on another menswear item and I was like, that is fabulous. This other menswear item by, uh, by itself is amazing. And this is this two-toned bomber jacket. Half is black, half is navy. It's kind of zipped together. I don't care for the fact that you can like zip up the back and have it open like I'm good just having it look like an old bomber jacket, you know, but that brooch on that bomber jacket absolutely slays. It looks amazing. It just like takes things up to like another like, oh, hello, interesting level. Get the bitches talking. Oh, loving for that combination, loving for the jacket by itself. The brooch, you know, I'm not really a brooch kind of person, but if you like brooches, it's a good one. The last piece, do not overlook this. Fall, winter, the temperatures are dropping. We all love a good scarf, okay? This Dior Judy Blame scarf, that is it, fabulous. Wool, you've got little tassels happening there at the bottom. It's big, it's going to be lovely and cozy. We love a logo scarf in the fall, winter, you know, one that you can really wrap yourself around. You know I love the acne one, but this one, again, love that logo with the safety pin happening. Once again, you can bring it out year after year, it does the job, it's a wonderful scarf. But aside from that, looks interesting, chic, colours that will go with everything. Ticking all of the fall winter boxes that one needs for a scarf, you know? Guys, let me know what you thought about these items. I was a tad bit nervous doing this video, talking about menswear as I'm not a man. But let me know your thoughts. Make it positive. I'm going to link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.